Okay, I just want to quickly go over uh, how this is done in a video. How I set up my ball rig. So, first I start off with my squash mill. And this one I place at the very bottom of the ball. So that's where it's going to be squashed from. And then I need to parent the ball to that. Let me color these. Next, I need the what I call the new null. And I'm going to oops, parent that to the, the squash to the move. Then I need then I need my two controlling nulls, which would be control. And on this one, P for properties, I bring up item shape. And I want this to be a ball and then make it a little bit bigger than the model itself. And my, my last one is the ball control. Now, uh, what you name yours doesn't. You don't have to name the same line. Um, that's just what I what I'm using. But uh, you just have to keep a, keep it organized. Which which does what for you. Now on the squash, type M to bring up the motion options. This one is going to be driven by the control for position. Same as item on all these. But then it's also going to be moved down. Oh, I forgot to change the item shape. So item shape on that, I want to be a box and make it kind of small. Okay, and then the move. Um, motion properties. This is going to be the same thing. So the ball controller, same as item, same as item, same as item for the position. Then for the squash, this is going to be the rotation is going to be driven by the ball control squash no. Um, same as item, same as item, same as item. The scale, yeah. the scale is going to be driven by the same null, but I'm just going to need to change the y to same as item because under the modifiers we will add the expression modifier. And let me I have this already typed out, so I need to remember. It is. This formula on both the scale x and the scale z. And then the last thing we need to do is on the ball itself, under controllers and limits, rotation, those will be driven by the ball control. Same as item, same as item, same as item. And then I lock these so I don't can't select them. And on the ball controller, I turn off the scale. And on the squash controller, I turn off the position, one of the rotations, and two of the scales. So, what that lets me do is I can move it by selecting the ball control null. If I rotate that no, it rotates the ball. And with the ball 
control squash. I can't move that one. Nothing happens when I move it. When I rotate it, it rotates from the squash pivot. And when I scale it just from the Y, I get uh, squash and stretch in all three axes. So let's you can see in perspective it squashes it in and scales out. So that's real quick.